Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Real quick, I just wanted to hop on and share with you a mini haul that I got from my little scrapbook store. Um, I will try and make sure links to everything is down below. So if you're interested in anything that you see, I will um, put those links in. And if anything's on wait list, you can add yourself to the wait list. And if she orders more in, she'll get it to you. So I'm showing you here, these are stamp set and die set that goes with the, I think it's family fun nights. And I'm just showing you, I have an obsession with stencils. So I got the game pieces as well. And then I have the um, flares. This one's supposed to go with um, print shop. And I just like the, the cups and I mean, you can't go wrong with gnomes. And this one's probably my favorite with the cameras. I love the colors. And then I'm going to bring over, I have the Blossom. Now, the Happy Scrappy bag does not come with everything. I want to say the photo strips and the papers I'm about to show you are not in the Happy Scrappy bag. But I just wanted to show you everything. I put everything that I get for a collection together in one of the bags so that way they're all together and I'm just trying to show you the fronts this one wouldn't separate it was giving me problems <laughs> fronts and the backs and the backs what I like about these six by eights is they're pretty simple um, so it allows you to be able to use both sides without um, being fearful that you're messing up another beautiful paper because the 49 and market has beautiful beautiful papers you almost don't feel like you want to cut into them but you know that's what we're here to do <laughs> so I'm just going through real quick showing you the um, two pages you get two of each pattern these are pretty too and I try to, with these collections, always get the 6x8. It's almost like getting the 6x6 pad, only because it allows you to do cards, um, especially with sets like this. They're so pretty, and you get so much stuff with it. Um, the ephemera pieces, the laser cut pieces. Um, there's just so much. You're going to see it all, because I'm getting ready to go through it all. But you just get so much stuff that it's like having the 6x8, it, you'd be crazy not to get it because that just gives you even more things you can create with it. All right, so I'm going to put... Oh, first I'm going to grab out... I've been seeing these film strips and I didn't know they were actually acetate. I thought they were like paper. And when I felt it, I was like, oh, this almost actually feels like an old school film strip. <laughs> but with these, you can attach them with um, liquid glue. Excuse me, with liquid glue. Um, cause a lot of the wet glues do dry clear or you can even, um, you know, kind of hide pieces of it underneath elements to, um, secure it as well. That was all envelopes. Now this is acetate. These are mostly leaves, but sometimes there are flowers in there. I think there's also some butterflies. I mean, look at that piece. That piece is almost as big as my hand. And then I'm grabbing another one just to show you. You can even layer them up, put one on top of the other. Can you imagine building up layers using this? And you get so many pieces in it. You really do. And then I want to show you this. I have never looked at these. These are called the, um, is it deco, decomage? Hold on. I'm going to try and grab it well. I'm showing you some of the pages. So these are all thin sheets of papers. Okay, collage. That's what they call them. Collage sheets, okay? And with these, you can use them as layers behind your photo. You can create a layered section. Um, and it won't be so thick, right? Because this is all thin paper. So this will be fun to kind of play with and... Uh, see what we can do with it i know um american crafts has started doing something similar um with their uh, i forget what they're called but it's just these thin sheets of paper but it allows you to 
um, have a little versatility with your layouts. And then this one is the rub-ons. And if you guys know from watching my other hauls, I love their rub-ons. They have really good quality. They give you a lot of bang for your buck, okay? Look at this. There's so many elements. You get a little bit of distress like this page here. And you can just cut out and around the pieces you want to use. I like how they have some faux stitching, some distress. And then up at the top, there's areas where you could like stamp a date. And then, of course, the different frames on that one. And um, with all theirs, usually it does come with a tool. So if you've gotten any of the rub-ons, you can use the same tool over and over and over again. Um, I would just make sure to put it in a, a spot that you can find it. Because <laughs> that's usually my issue. All right. So now I'm going to show you... Um, if you see a little tail there, my cat decided to hop up on me while I was trying to film. So that's why at this moment, I'm only using one hand. So here's the back showing you all the individual pieces. And those are usually pretty easy to pull out. Um, and then this is showing you, you get eight pages. Yeah, with, well, uh, they're double-sided sheets and you get four, yeah, you get eight. So I think you get two of each pattern. But I didn't want to open the big one. So that's why I showed you a lot of the papers through the six by eight because they're going to be pretty similar. Okay. Um, the next thing I got was this 12 by 12 stencil, which ugh, I'm trying to get more 12 by 12s only because I have a jelly plate and I want to have more options when it comes time to play with that. And um, I got this Simple Stories. I love the colors, the yellows with the blues and pinks. Love it. And then I got this Photo Play Brave because I have some older pictures of my brother from when he was in the military that I want to scrap. So I got that. And then um, the big thing I got was the Simple Stories and it's the Simple Vintage Life in Bloom. And let me tell you, this collection, <sighs> I love almost everything about it. And I'm going to only say almost because sometimes there's things that may not speak to you. And I haven't gone through all of the ephemera pieces, like individually. But color-wise, it speaks to me. It really does. So we're going to start pulling everything out. And I think I still have the cat on me at this point. I'm still pulling. Because all this really fits tight in the scra Happy Scrappy bag that I got. Um, but I like to keep it all together until I can either get it into a plastic container where it can all be held. Or, um, like I said, I'll just stuff it all in together as best I can. Okay. So here we go. This top one that we're looking at is actually the card kit. I like the Simple Story card kits. I like that they have everything pre-cut um, for you and you just really are putting it together as you see it. And you can do different layering techniques with your foam tape. Um, you could use uh, double up in certain areas. You can add things like sequins and um, enamel dots. You can do all that. So I got two of the solids and one of the gingham because I'm not a big gingham fan, but I wanted the solids. And then normally in the Happy Scrappy bag, you get one kit and then I ordered one separately. So that way I would have two sheets because with Simple Stories, you only get one of each sheet in the kit that they have. This is the sticker book which you get so much in here. Look at all these stickers. These are all stickers. I love the cameras, flowers, and then look at that big today. Yeah, this is the chipboard. Living my best life. I love it. Beautiful. I mean, it's just really a beautiful collection. I love these foam titles look how big they are I, I think they lend 
to layouts very, very well. I'm trying to show you as best I can. I'm trying to get it to focus. <laughs> um, those are the ephemera pieces, the cardstock pieces. Those are the flowers. Look at all those butterflies. Ooh, I love those. So I can't wait to get up in there. And then this one, I like this. I'm going to open it and show you one. Um, these are like layered. They're made to look like a layered ephemera, right? There's all these different layers. But look, it's a thin piece of paper. So it's like a faux layered look. I like it. And then these are uh, 3D stickers. So you got a lot of foam, dimension. So I, I really like those. Now... I'm going to show you this one. This is the stamp set that comes with it. I like the distressed look and the word stamps. This is the stencil. It's so big, but I love it. I love it. I think it would be really pretty on a, on a layout. <coughs> Excuse me. On this one, you get everything that's on the bottom. I'm trying to make sure it. So you got the flower clusters, the camera. You get so much. And then this one also has rub-ons. I think this is the first collection I've seen them have rub-ons, if I'm not mistaken. Once again, that camera, love it. And then I'm going to quickly go through this 6x8 pad. Um, I know the kits have like more cut-aparts, but I just wanted to real quick just go through and show you some of the pattern paper, which is just so beautiful. I mean, I love these colors. Love, love. Look at that. And I love that sheet. That one, you could almost take out the book and just frame it. I love the message it has on it. I can't read it right now because I put it away. But, um, yeah, I really like that one. And then these are four cut-aparts. And you get another four cut-aparts. And that one has the blue and purple on the background. Love it. And then flip over. And you got beautiful flowers. And then it starts all over again. I mean, this collection is like, is stunning. So if you go over to my little scrapbook store and it is on wait list. Wait list allows you to get the items um, and reserve it. You can pay ahead or it'll come into your cart once it comes in. So definitely hit the links down below and I will see you guys with our next video.